Welcome to Raycraft Books Read Alouds. Raycraft Books is a children's trade book imprint focused primarily on publishing books by authors and illustrators from underrepresented communities. To learn more about our books, please visit us at www.raycraftbooks.com. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel where you will find additional read alouds, videos about our books, as well as interviews with our authors and illustrators. This month's read aloud is How to Dragon, written by Judith Henderson and illustrated by Kelly Collier. How to Dragon was named a Canadian Children's Book Center Best Books for Kids and Teens of 2023. You might be familiar with Judith Henderson, the author, as she also wrote the theme song for the Emmy award-winning PBS show, Author. So let's dig into How to Dragon. As dragons go, Douglas wasn't the best. In fact, in the kingdom, he was probably second to last. He overheard the other dragons say, Douglas isn't the least bit frightful. That's about the worst thing you can say about a dragon. So Douglas went to see a dragon doctor. Hmm, your teeth are terrific. Talons too, a splendid spiky tail and scales that are spectacular. But alas, I fear you are lacking in pizzazz. You know, a little fire in the belly. Try this and good luck. How to dragon. Number one, slay a knight with your fiery breath. Number two, fly. Number three, burn down a haystack with fire from your nose. Number four, scare people silly. Number five, use a fearsome face to make a princess faint. First things first, Douglas went and knocked on the knight's door. Yes? Hello, I'm Douglas and I'm going to slay you with my fiery breath. Why? Because it's on my list here, see? Do you even have fiery breath? Douglas tried, but it made him cough. <laughs> you need to concentrate and get very upset at something, then fire away. Douglas thought about what the dra other dragons had said. Very rude. Then he opened his mouth wide and voila. That was my favorite tomato plant, the knight hollered. Oh, I'm so sorry. It just came out. That's never happened before, Douglas said happily. Look here, Douglas, said the knight. I'll help you to dragon if you don't slay me. Deal, said Douglas. The knight looked at the list. Flying, I have just the thing for flying. If you use your fiery breath while you're flying, you can scare people silly at the same time, which takes care of number four. I'm ready, Douglas said. Sure. Oh. Douglas flew like a dark, fire-breathing cloud across the sky. It was a terrifying thing to behold. Ah, I'm scared silly. Run for your lives. Douglas crash-landed into a mighty oak tree. You're a good flyer, said the bird. Number three, the knight said, looking at the list. Burn down a haystack with fire from your nose. Douglas tried. Ow, that hurts. Here. The knight handed Douglas a jar. Stick some of this up your nose, then fire away. Douglas fired from his nostrils. Bullseye. Poof. What are you trying to do? Burn down the barn? A goose hawked. I'm learning how to drag in, Douglas said. Well, stop, the goose grouched. We only have one more thing to do, said the knight. Make a princess faint. How about her? said the goose, pointing to a fair princess chopping wood. You need to practice first, said the knight. Let me see your fiercest face. Not bad. Good. Better. That will do. Douglas flaunted his fiercest face. Do you have a toothache? No. A bellyache? No, I am being fearsome. Don't you feel like fainting? Uh, no. A tiny tear rolled down Douglas's cheek. What's wrong, said the princess. 
I'm just not frightful enough, but I don't want to scare people silly, burn things up or down or make you faint. And now the other dragons will make fun of me. Why? Because I don't know how to drag it. Of course you can. The knight, the princess, and Douglas hatched a plan. We'll show them. At the bewitching hour, Douglas fearsomely flew across the sky, breathing fire like a proper dragon. He made a crash landing by the great oak tree where all the dragons were gathered around a bonfire roasting hot dogs. Just then, the fair princess appeared. Douglas fiercely towered over her. Oh, woe is me! The princess fainted. Just in time, the knight galloped by on his noble steed and swept up the princess. As he rode away, Douglas sent out a flaming breath of fire. Ow! Oh! All the dragons cheered and invited Douglas to stay. Care for a hot dog? No, I'm meeting my friends, but thank you. The knight, the fair princess, the goose, the bird, and Douglas had their own bonfire. I thought that went well, said Douglas. Two night, sorry, love, Douglas. The end. Thank you for joining us for this month's Raycraft Books Read Aloud. Keep your eye out for next month's Read Aloud and happy reading.